example is to show you how to create a course and get your home page set up in under five minutes. So let's get started. First, when you sign in, it's going to take you to your dashboard. That's this page. On the left, click on the book. That is your courses tab. Click all courses. Click plus course to create a new one and name it whatever you want to call your course. So I'm going to name mine Civil Science and hit create. Leave it as private. Otherwise, other people can see it and use it. And this is what it looks like when you create a new course. So far, we're going to go to choose. We're, we're going to ignore all this stuff right here. And we're going to go to pages. Sorry. All right, so go to pages. And we're going to plus page. And we're going to call it home. This is going to be our home page. Okay. So if you have already made some images you want, like your banner or your buttons, and we'll talk about how to make those in a different video, you're going to insert them. So click on images, click on choose file. Here's my banner. Name it. And then it's going to show up. It takes a little bit on this part. It'll show up wherever you put your cursor, so you're going to click where you want it to be. I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to click center, because I want it to stay in the center of the page. Even if it looks like it's in the center, if a student's screen is a different size than yours, it'll move it. So just center it. Alright, so then to add buttons, it's best to use a table to keep them spread out evenly. So you can add however many rows and columns you need. You can change that later as well. Then click on Table Properties and on Border change it to zero. They won't show up then. Now you're going to add in the pictures you want to make links for your different parts of your um, home page. So I want a link that's going to take me to my students to the assignments. I'm going to name it Assignments. Again, this part is the slowest part. Once it's there, it may not be the size you want. Click on it and resize it. And I like to keep them in the center. So I'm going to click to put it in the center. Then I'm going to click in my second box and I'm going to put another picture. This one is going to be a clickable link so my students can get to their newsletter instead of me making copies every week. You have to click in the box or it'll go somewhere else. So make sure you clicked in the part of your table you want. And when it uploads, I'm going to resize it as well. So I'm going to click on it to highlight it and drag it to where it's the same size as the last one. And I'm going to put it back in the center. And then I can add more images later if I want. Um, for now, I think I'll just put it over here where they're spaced evenly. And I'm going to hit Save and Publish. So here's what it looks like so far. And I'll add to it as I go. So now I'm going to click on the Pages tab. I'm going to click on these dots and click Use as Front Page. Then I'm going to click Home. And I'm going to click choose home page. And I'm going to change that to pages and hit save. And now this is what your students will see when they log in. So if you want to hit student view, it'll show you how they see it without as many options. And voila, you have a home page.